Alright, at first arrival to the boat, um, we're going ahead and we're looking at a Fountain Peugeot 46. Uh, from the exterior, she looks to be in very good condition. Um, we'll go ahead and do some further uh, analysis on the hull using infrared thermology or infrared thermography uh, and a couple other different things. Uh, moisture analysis and some stuff a little bit later on. Uh, we won't be able to film that because it's, it's kind of a two handed operation. But as we're getting aboard and looking at the boat from the exterior, uh, everything looks pretty good on the port side hull. Uh, the boat's actually in, in what I would consider to be particularly clean uh, shape for this make and model. So at first appearance, the boat's in good shape. All right, we're down here in the starboard engine room. Uh, basically, as I'm sure you're aware, the engines are pretty much brand new uh, and appear as such. Uh, we'll be doing some additional testing on the engines when we're out on sea trials, uh, as well as the dockside. But basically right now I'm doing cold engine checks, uh, verifying coolant levels, uh, oil levels, which the oil is pretty much brand new uh, with negligible time on it. Um, also we've opened up the uh, transmission and sail drive oil, which looks to be in good shape. Um, also when I was uh, doing the initial inspection, uh, we're checking things like valves to make sure that they're stiff or not stiff. Um, and then also we've got high water alarms, uh, general condition to make sure there's no fuel leaks on the inject on the injection pump or the injectors. Um, at first glance, everything looks to be quite good on the engine and just what we would expect. Uh, like I said, we'll do some further testing on the sea trial, but uh, for right now, everything looks good. Uh, hi, we're up in the forward port cabin. Uh, just working on the survey here. Started the inspection on it. Uh, as you can see, we've got the floorboards pulled up. Um, as well as just an inspection on some of the soft goods. Uh, this cabin checks out pretty good. Uh, we've got one leak all the way up in the forward, uh, the four peak locker, as well as the cushioning and fabric uh, isn't in great shape up there. It's got some rips, which I'll uh, show you in a picture. Uh, in any case, the, we've also got a rip in the vinyl on the outside headliner. Otherwise, it's in pretty good. The fan works. Uh, we've got two lights that, that aren't working. Uh, probably just bulbs. I'll go ahead and, and continue to test those further. But um, the closet and everything else in this, this cabin works pretty good. Um, that, that's it for now. Thank you. Alright, we're up in the starboard forward cabin. Uh, washroom, actually. Um, basically, we just finished up the initial testing on everything. Uh, basically, everything works and the boat's in pretty good shape. You'll notice the mirrors and the tap fixtures are in good condition. Uh, typically, on a boat this age, we find that they've been heavily corroded. Uh, so it's always nice to see that they've been taken care of, probably replaced. Uh, both lights are working, which is good. Uh, manual flush head, which is working. Uh, and then also, uh, the shower drain is working as well. You can hear that, that pump kick on. Uh, so far, so good on the washroom. Uh, no problems. We've got four more to do, or three more to do, actually. So we've got our work ahead of us. But nonetheless, uh, it's a good start to the day. Uh, we're up in the main salon area now, uh, just going through galley and appliances. Uh, refrigerator, which is in here, you've got both the freezer on the port side and then a refrigerator on the starboard side. Both of those units are working properly. Uh, dish storage here, um, you can see all this has been upgraded. Uh, looks quite quite good for this age, age boat. Uh, double stainless steel sink, trash chute. Like I said, we're going through this, but the stove seems to work no problem. Uh, fan looks good. Oven looks good. Uh, additional dish storage. And again, uh, more storage down below. Notice all the hardware and fixtures. Um, all of it looks to be relatively new, uh, probably been replaced. Uh, somebody's definitely gone through the boat and, and spent some time onto it. Uh, you will notice these, these cabinet fronts are, uh, are a little bit different. They don't match the boat, but they are in good condition. So while it doesn't match in particular, uh, I do, do think it looks quite good. Uh, we've got two air conditioners on board. Uh, we just turned this one on. Uh, it's cooling. Uh, haven't done a formal check on them, but at first look, they appear to be in good condition and working. All the upholstery has been uh, replaced recently, as well as the table looks to have either been replaced or refinished uh, quite recently. Uh, we're going to do lunch a little bit later today, so we've got this spread out. Um, at the navigation station, we've got the helm and storage, uh, generator controls, uh, our main DC electrical panel, as well as uh, a few different items for electronics. Um, you'll see that the Navman tracker GPS is not working properly, so I would add that on. But uh, otherwise, everything else seems to be pretty good. Uh, still need to check all the windows and make sure there's no leaks or anything, but I, uh, I don't anticipate there being any problems. 
Uh, so far, the boat's coming out quite quite good, so I'm rather happy with it. Uh, so we're up in the starboard uh, cabin again. Again, our uh, four-peak hatch uh, it has a small leak. The upholstery looks to be uh, uh, new, or not new, original, but does look to be still in good condition. Uh, once again, we've got a few light bulbs that are out, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, the system appears to be working. Uh, the fans are working. Uh, again, uh, floorboards are not in great shape, but otherwise the boat's in, in good shape. Uh, again, into the head, uh, both lights are working. Again, the mirrors and tap fixtures are in good shape. Uh, manual heads working without any issue. Um, even this, uh, this vinyl covering uh, looks like it's been replaced as well. Uh, just kind of keeping in with the theme of the boat. Uh, somebody's definitely really gone through and, uh, and cleaned the boat up quite nicely. Um, or just maintained it in, in, uh, in very good condition. But I have a feeling somebody's put some money into it uh, more recently than that. Uh, just continuing on with the survey, everything's good right now. Uh, so we're up here in the bow compartment. Uh, just kind of going through everything up here. Uh, as you can see, our main anchor is uh, we've got a, a claw style. Uh, windless works, no problems. Anchor chain is in pretty good condition. Uh, spare delta style anchor, uh, about 45 pounds. Got our fuel uh, LPG systems right there. And then the only real issue up here would be the uh, anchor bridle. Anchor bridle is in fair condition. I probably would just renew it uh, just so it looks a little bit better. Uh, will it work? Yeah, of course, but it doesn't look great. So I might spend a few dollars and replace that. Uh, otherwise, everything else up here. We're out here today. We're actually just going to be sailing around in, in Port Everglades. Uh, we're only looking at about five to six knots of, uh, of wind total, so it's not a great sailing day, but it is good weather. Uh, in any case, we've got the main and the Genoa opened up. Uh, both sails are pretty much in brand new condition. Uh, well, not brand new, but, but a, well above average. Uh, leech cord and accoutrements look good on the Genoa. Uh, furler is working good on the mainsail. Uh, we've got a double, double reef which is good. It's a, a single line reefing and then you tack it down at the base of the mast on the left. Uh, in any case, everything looks good out here today and uh, engines are running without any problems, which is as, as expected. And just all in all, a, a nice boat. Uh, we've also gone ahead and tested the autopilot, which is on a remote and uh, it works as well. So not a great sailing day, but a nice boat nonetheless.